talk to you a little bit about the settings of your quilts. At this point, you've probably made a few blocks. Hopefully you've been following along and you've been keeping up with as we're going and making the blocks. And you'll notice that maybe all your blocks aren't all the sizes that they're supposed to be. Don't worry, it's common. Most people don't make the blocks the size they're supposed to be. We work so hard with our cutting and our scant quarter inch seam allowance, but no matter how hard you try, you're gonna find that you can't be perfect. About 10 years ago, I took a class with Sharon Craig. She's a professional quilt teacher, lives in the San Diego, California area. Best teacher I ever had a class from. She was phenomenal. She had so much information to share and it was all really good practical information that I use all the time when I'm working on quilts. And her lecture at the Guild was sets education. She was educating us on all the different ways to set your quilt, on point, straight set, medallion set, but then also about the colors that you use. But the one thing that she taught me that I will never forget was the information on coping strips. Everybody likes to laugh when we talk about that because we're all trying to cope with different things. Well, with this, you are. You're trying to cope with blocks that are not all the same size. I'm gonna show you a few quilts here, and the first one I'm gonna show you is a quilt that the friends in my bee made. So we've got about 20 ladies in the bee, and the idea is that everybody make 12 blocks, and then you give one of your 12 blocks away to different members in the bee. 12 different quilters. Not one of the blocks turned out the size they were supposed to be. They were all a variety of sizes. So instead of taking the blocks apart and thinking I was going to make them all perfect myself, instead I actually added fabric around the blocks and trimmed them all down to the exact same size. So on the quilt that I'm showing you here, this was a fall color quilt that we made, this block did not turn out the size that it was supposed to. So I added these green strips all the way around the block. I did not add just this little narrow strip. I actually added a one and a half inch strip all the way around. After I had all the blocks surrounded with a one and a half inch strip, I spray sized them really good and then went back and trimmed them all down to a perfect 11 inch size. So on this quilt, you see all these green strips going around. On the next block I'm gonna show you, the same idea. Right here is we have the block with all these different strips. What you don't notice is that the strips on this block are actually narrower than the strips on the previous block that I showed you. And it's because this block turned out a little bigger. The other block turned out a little bit smaller. But when it's just that minor difference, you won't notice it. Your eye will adjust and you won't know that those strips were actually a different size. The next quilt I've got has got a different type of coping strip. Now, this is called a wonky coping strip. The idea here, same as with the other, is that the blocks are not gonna turn out the size that you think that they all should. So with this, you actually add a two and a half or three inch strip going all the way around the block. Then you take your ruler and you tip it. So it's tipped and it's kind of wonky. This is a really fun way to um, square up your blocks, but I really, what I really love about the coping strips when the wonky setting is that you see so much more of the fabric. So on this block, I didn't know what color I wanted the quilt to be, so when in doubt, add more color. So I added lots of different varieties to the blocks. Now the next quilt I'm gonna show you is from my friend Cheryl took the class, my Learn to Quilt class. And when she first started taking the class, it was seriously the first sewing that she'd ever really done. So her blocks did not all turn out the size they were supposed to. So on her Learn to Quilt block, she made her rail fence blocks. They were supposed to finish nine inches. Cheryl's finished about eight and a quarter inches. That's a significant shortage from what they really needed to work in the quilt. So instead of panicking or redoing all the blocks, no. Cheryl added these yellow strips to the sides of the block. Then she was able to square them up to the nine inches that she wanted, and it adds so much to the quilt. I love how she's got the accent yellow here in the star blocks, and then she's also got the yellow coping strips here. 
everybody thinks it's a design choice she made. And it was a design choice she made. We didn't need to panic. There was a way to make those blocks cope in the quilt. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to do these different types of coping strips. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.